and green they go and we are racing here at the UCI Mountain Bike Cross Country Olympic World Cup. Dario Lilo just getting crowded out by Carter Woods in the National Champions jersey of Canada in the middle of your screen and there is a faller early doors when the Canadian riders only cross the line now but we need to rejoin the front of this one and see who's going to lead them up onto this start loop for the first time. And out onto the lap proper as they come together again. Yeah, really, Amos, Tom Skellikis, Oliver Solvoy, then we have Lilo. Rechtal, Hudima, Washi, Norway. Vitoni, who really starred last time out in Lenzo Haida, only for a last lap disappointment. There he is in the KTM jersey coming yeah, through your picture. Great now. race he had, but uh, yeah. It's a different way of riding, but uh, at least it, it's so much, yeah, it's, it's definitely a kilo lighter. So it's They're fast when they're fast, but you haven't got that margin for error. You haven't got that one route that you didn't expect to clatter into the back of the bike yeah. and it can just but, puncture. But probably an insert in his rear tire. Okay. So that means, uh, it, yeah, it protects against pinch flat. <laughs> and it just <laughs> goes up and up and up. It never, goes, uh, yeah. It's never steep but it just increases its gradient just as your heart rate is going through the roof. Yeah, and, and riders are fighting for their position. Alexander Rodima, he likes to be a little bit more to the front. But it's difficult to overtake. Also, to, if you are entering the grass, it's really bad rolling. You have to push so much more uh, effort into it to, to overtake each other. Well, is that Luke feeling good here today? And yeah. he's at the front of this one. For the first time, we see him leading this race. Do you, think, Lukal, do you think this section could be tough enough, Bart, that we see some attacks on it at some stage? An attack on this climb, probably the riders wouldn't do it. I and think it's mentally also very hard. And there he is, come, Jan. So straight through the middle. Yeah, straight to the front. What was that about, Bart? They seem to be looking over their shoulders a lot. Yeah, there. and he was carrying on so much more speed, and I think he's feeling strong. How much, if you're if you're faced with a situation like this, Bart, with a rider out front pushing hard, how much energy can you devote to this? How do you, much do you have to go, he might blow up, this might be wasted energy? Yeah, we saw in the short track that many riders blow up, actually. If yeah. we went too fast, uh, they, they blew all up. So, uh, and also here on, on this course, yeah, it, 12 minutes uh, lap time. That's one of the first times we've seen as well so far Riders throwing a bit of water around themselves to cool down. It is heating up here in Leogang. Yeah, it's heating up quickly, especially on these part of, part of the course where, the, where it's open, no trees, no shadow, and the sun is shining. Blue sky. Yeah, mercifully, we have been allowed to keep the commentary booth door open yesterday during downhill. It was so loud we had to close it, and trust me, Bart, when I say it was getting pretty hot in here. Fastest lap times now at the moment. That's probably the 12.06. Yeah, on, on these climbs, it's not possible to drink at all. You need your breathing into that feet tone. Also for Tom Skalikas, a gel. So first a bottle with energy drink and then probably a bottle to cool down oh, just you see yeah these, up there. The, these turns are so slippery it's just loose everywhere yeah, isn't it? loose everywhere yeah it's dry and that gravel makes it very slippery one more lap the final lap if they cross the finish line and that's almost Dario Lilo Adrian Brushy Switzerland against France there's nothing in between these two riders Nope, this has gone to the last lap then, Shellikins. On third place. Third place, good ride for him, but hopes of a win evaporating. Lilo fast here. Stylish yep. to this descent. Feet up, looking good. So is Boishi, not far behind him. There's just maybe half a bike has opened up, but Boishi quick to close it out. Tricky to follow another bike in the descent as well. So easy to make the same mistake as the rider in front of you. Nine seconds in between uh, Skellikas and Wiedmann. I said yeah. 34, but it's of course, that's to the first place. So, last still place possible the, for Wiedmann. Last spot on the podium still open. Yep. No extra weight on his bike. That's the sort of margins we and are This is the about. battle for the third place, the last spot on the podium. This will be an absolute tussle of the muscle. Two big men going at it here. 
And we can see the two battles for the podium places. Interesting. Yeah. Ah, oh, there was Adrian Brasino. Adrian Brasino to the front, attacks. Lilo, can he go with him? Wow, look at this. Look at the effort being put oh, by yes. Lilo sits oh, up. Look at Adrian Brasi. Lilo sits up, he doesn't want anything to do with this attack. He's got no answers for Brasi here. Brasi for Trinity Racing, MTB. Is he making the race winning move in front of our eyes up this climb? This is so fast. Oh, Brasi. If he looks back over his shoulder right now, he knows. He'll see him here, look, yep, what has he a did. little look. And he had a small gap. But now Adrian Boisci coming Adrian to the finish line. Boisci there. Adrian Boisci heads to the line for Trinity Racing. An absolutely superb performance from the young Frenchman. He does the double in Leogang. Adrian Boisci sits up and celebrates the UCI mountain bike cross country Olympic under 23 men's victory. Going the same way as the short track World Cup. Dario Lilu pops the bike up on the back wheel to celebrate with a wheelie. Ultimately, ultimately couldn't stick with Boisci today. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. It just feels like I'm getting better and better day by day, races by races. I gain experience and, and all that. And yeah, today, to be honest, yesterday I crashed really hard in training. And this morning when I woke up and I couldn't, I could barely get off my bed, I was thinking I'm never going to race, you know, like. But then I just, yeah, did my warm up. I felt that I had good legs and I just, yeah, trusted what all the, all the training I've done, everything I've done so far in my life to, to that point. And yeah, unbelievable, really. Let's get the results then. Adrian Boisci for Trinity, Trinity Racing takes the win. 12 seconds up the road from Dario Lilo, Vedeman, Shellikins, Riley, Michels. Unbelievable ride from him. Solvoy, Zat Lukel. Carter Woods in 12, Mattis Gay, 